friends, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're just joining us now, welcome! So, for today's video, we are going to be doing another weekly challenge, my friends. Yes, I'm really into doing the weekly and monthly challenges, as you can probably tell by my channel lately. But I feel like because I'm in lockdown, it's just given us a chance to experiment with things. I haven't really got much more to do with me time. This week, I thought it would give us the chance to experiment with shoving something up my vagina for a week. I mean... I do that quite often when I'm on my period, but this is a different type of thing going up there. This week I wanted to try and use a menstrual cup while I'm on my period. So I have just come on my period today and it's not much more to say about it. My vagina is bleeding. But yes, I have come on my period this week and I decided that instead of using tampons like I usually would, I'm going to be using a menstrual cup. Now, I would be lying if I didn't say that I'm shitting myself for this week because I have seen so many pros and cons to using a menstrual cup, but some very scary experiences of people getting them stuck. And that's something that I'm just not looking forward to. If I remember rightly, when I watched a video of Zoella using one for the first time, she said a bathroom was like a murder scene the first time she tried to get it out. And I mean that, I'm not here for that. So, um, not really sure how this week's gonna go. And I do have butterflies in my stomach at the thought of using one. And I'm not gonna lie, I've really avoided using them because of that reason. I really don't want my bathroom to look like a murder scene full of my period blood. But beside that, I have also heard a load of positives about using them as well and how they can be better than using tampons and pads. So I'm going to talk through some of the pros and cons that I found while I was doing my research online. So for those of you who don't know what a menstrual cup is, it's a little rubber slash latex cup that you put in your vagina instead of a tampon or instead of putting a pad on your knickers. Um, mine is due to arrive tomorrow through Amazon. It was because I've actually come on my period a day early, so yeah that's not ideal um and i did actually order it quite a while ago but it will arrive tomorrow morning and i'll start using it tomorrow morning one of the main pros of using a menstrual cup is it is reusable and you can reuse it for up to 10 years some people say online which is just madness um but yeah you can shove that thing up there for quite a long period of time being reusable this also keeps the costs down because because unfortunately in the UK, women do actually have to pay for period products, which I just think is ridiculous. Like, the government should make it free. I don't choose for blood to come out there every month. So the tampon recommended amount of time for having it up there is four to eight hours. You're not meant to have it up there any longer than eight hours. But with the menstrual cup, you are actually allowed to keep it up there for 12 hours. Now, I don't know how I feel about this. It makes us feel a little bit uncomfortable. I don't know if I want something sitting up there for 12 hours. It just feels like a long period of time for something to be in my body, do you know what I mean? But that is another pro to many people because once it's up there, you don't really have to worry about it for quite a long period of time. If you use tampons, you may know that sometimes they do make you feel a little bit dry down there, but using a menstrual cup is not meant to make you feel dry like a tampon can. You may have heard of toxic shock syndrome. Wow, why is that a tongue twist twister? toxic shock syndrome yeah you may have heard of that it's basically called tts and it is a syndrome that can be caused by um, tampons although it's very very rare it is like a risk of using a tampon however menstrual cups have not been associated with tss there's no chemicals in a menstrual cup so there is actually chemicals used in tampons and there's none on menstrual cup and apparently there's reports that women get less cramps when they use a menstrual cup opposed to a tampon which i mean would definitely be a positive to me because i can get some severe severe cramps however it's not all positive there is a little few negatives as well if you're allergic to latex or rubber then definitely do not use one because they are made from latex or rubber apparently they are really hard to use at first and really hard to get the gist of um like i said at the beginning i've heard some absolute horror stories of people getting them stuck not knowing how to get them out or just really getting them in the wrong way and it being really uncomfortable so apparently they do take a bit of playing around with but i'm not gonna lie if i remember rightly when i first started using tampons that i did used to like get a bit of issue putting it up there it used to go the wrong way it used to sit uncomfortably so i feel like this is any new product that you're going to be putting up there you know sometimes it will be uncomfortable at first 
also as well though because they are reusable you do have to wash them out so if you're in like a public restroom you would more than likely be taking your cup of blood to wash it out but because you can keep it in you for 12 hours the likelihood of you absolutely needing to change it in that type of environment may be slim um but that is something to bear in mind like if you went away for a weekend at a festival or something and your only access to bathrooms was public then I definitely think that I would find that really embarrassing. So yeah, there are a few of the pros and cons that I found from reading online and for the next, well, probably five to six days, I'm gonna be trying it out because I'm on my period and it was actually highly requested to try out and I was a little bit skeptical because I don't know how I feel about the thought of them and I've never really liked the thought of them. But I thought, you know what? We'll just give it a go for a week. I mean, it could be the worst week of my life, but it could teach us some life-changing things. So, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow morning when it arrives and we'll be putting it up there. Okay, guys, so my other camera's broke because I keep dropping it and, like, the screen on the top of the camera when you flip it up is basically just, like, not working now. Like, it won't flip, if that makes sense. Anyway, so I've put it in there, but I did have a spare camera, which I'm using, but I feel like this one doesn't focus as well, but hopefully it'll be fine. Anyway, so, so my cup arrived this morning. Oh, this is cute. Comes in a little wash bag. And then it's got obviously the instructions here. Yeah. So it's called the uh, Vivia cup. Vivia. This is what it looks like. Menstrual cup using method. Vivia product is a high quality medical grade silicone that is widely applied in medical care products such as infant nipples. Infant nipples. So it says that it retains 20 to 25 um, milliliters of blood thanks to its design and then it just shows you how to like put it in and take it out and stuff like that this is what it comes like it's like a little bag with peaches all over it it feels big Aww. oh my god mm. looks like quite a big one i'm sure i ordered small because it said online to get small if you've never used them before but this is what it looks like the little cup so yeah so you like squeeze this in you <sighs> okay we're gonna go and put it up because i'm on my period and it's what it's for so let's go and put it up for the first time okay so obviously i'm not going to show you in-depth footage of the the process because this is youtube and that would be too graphic but <laughs> I'm gonna follow the instructions because I've heard horror stories about these things. Be there, I need to get the instructions. I've already just taken the tampon out that I had in, so I obviously I'm ready to use it now. I've rinsed it and dried it. And then what it's saying is to fold it down like that. And like, so it's like that. Kinda looks like a vagina, doesn't it? So you're meant to make it look like this all folded down and then like just put it up let's do it guys i feel like it's like sucking i've had to like take it out and refold it twice already it's not going great but we are keep going it says like i bought a small one which i thought would be a lot smaller than this but obviously i know it has to hold blood so it can't be like tiny <sighs> it's in took us about 20 minutes to get it in which overall isn't that bad and honestly can't feel it so i feel like i've got it in right because i know that if you put them in right you're not meant to feel them and stuff like that and i honestly can't feel it so i'm gonna say we're off to a good start but i don't want to speak too soon and i am very nervous about having to take it out because this is where it all can go very wrong <sighs> i'll see you approximately eight hours because i mean i know tampons you can leave in for like six to eight hours and these you can apparently leave in for 12 hours but i'm a bit nervous to do that so we're not going to do that i'll probably leave it six to eight just for the first time and then we'll see and i'm just in the house so i don't really need it leave it in that long but we'll check back in a bit okay guys so it's much later on in the day now and i'm ready to go to bed i've actually had it in much longer than i thought because it got to the eight hour mark right and honestly i couldn't feel it so i was like well i'm just gonna leave it and i left it to be in ten and a half hours 
but I'm not like heavy heavy and I just wanted to really test it um, but problem is I can't get it out I've, I'm out of breath because I've just had a bit of a panic because it's like stuck and Sean's coming up to bed and I don't really want to tell him that there's a cup full of blood up my vagina that I can't get out because he's squeamish about this type of thing and I'm all he's probably gonna be squeamish and that's what I'm trying to do push and pull but it like where I put it the day it's gone further up because of the little thing was sticking out and I thought that that's how it was meant to be but it's not and the thing's not sticking out anymore but I can like feel it and grab it but it just like because it's like suction it's like a suction cup and it's stuck Guys, I've been trying to get it out for a solid 40 minutes and I can't. It's like when I'm pulling, it's like stuck and because the like thing isn't like sticking out how I thought it would be, I can't get a good grip of it. And I've just had a look online in a panic and I've been putting like can't get menstrual cup out, how to get it out and people are like you have to go in these different positions and try and get it out. What is this? So already today I'm just going to say that I'm not amused. Like if, if if it was a tampon I'd just be able to pull it out nice and discreet Sean sure, wouldn't know a thing. But this has created problems before bed. And he's going to know. I mean I'm not embarrassed like that I'm on my period or that it's there but it's just. He's going to think I'm like why is it stuck and he hates blood. He hates things like this so he's going to be like. Oh. I remember though this video I wanted to do it because Zoella had said she'd started using them and stuff and I was like oh that'd be really interesting and loads of people have spoke about them and I thought it'd be really interesting but I remember her saying the first time she went to get it out it was like a, a murder scene and I was worried about it but then I was just thinking oh it'll be fine like it'll be fine I've used really thick tampons before like really really ones that like really grasp the blood so I was thinking it'll be absolutely fine fuck I'm gonna try again before Sean comes to bed and hopefully I'll be able to get it out. Okay, I just need to chill because I'm panicking about it being stuck up there. That I'm panicking and it's like obviously making us tense. So when you're tense, it's worse. So I'm trying not to panic because I really, I'm not going to A&E because I can't get a menstrual cup out. I need to just chill. I'm gonna have to get some tweezers and pull <laughs> good morning guys so i've just put my cup back in this morning and it slid in like a gem it went in really easy this morning um i washed it obviously well i had washed it last night but i just wet it again but i read on the instructions that you can actually use a water-based lubricant if you wanted to like put it in but i didn't because um i just didn't have any so um but it went in much better today and it feels comfortable i've lost the little sticky out bit again though like it's gone up <laughs> which i know it's meant to but um yeah it's well in there and i'm just gonna leave it until i feel i want to change it and hopefully we'll not have a disaster like we did yesterday taking it out because i honestly nearly rang my mum and had to explain to her that i got a silicone cup stuck up there that would have been a problem i mean i don't know why i was going to ring my mum, but i'm the type of person that rings my mum about everything before i actually do the thing i should do like probably go to a and a like imagine if i had to go to a and a because i got a cup stuck up there I don't think I would have went because it just would have been such a waste of time for them and I just would have had to like persist and keep trying all night but luckily after about 40 minutes we did manage to get it out so <sighs> Okay, I think I've got it better this time. I mean, like, honestly, if you could see the way I was standing right now, the position. <laughs> I'm giving birth to a silicone cup. <laughs> okay, too much, Demi. I'm, I'm very dramatic, sorry. It just, it takes a while to get out and then I'm worried that I'll bring it out unbalanced and drop blood everywhere. 
Peanut mission is done. Okay, so day two. I got it out with a bit of a struggle, but easier than yesterday. I think it took approximately 20 minutes. I found a f <laughs> I found an angle that was easy to grab and I just angled the self up grabbed and pulled but I tell you something I have noticed is when I'm pulling it out because it's a cup with no top I'm like scared that I'm gonna like have an accident and I like, just accidentally like drop the blood everywhere on my pants or something like that that's something I've been very aware of these last two days I've been very conscious of that happening but it hasn't happened so it's probably just like a you know when you have these things that you think will happen I don't know if it actually ever will happen but that's something I've been quite conscious of so yeah um I did have quite bad cramps today which it says that with the cups you're meant to not get as um bad cramps but I did have cramps today so I just thought I'd throw that one out there I did also say when I was reading back through the packaging that it says to boil the cup before you use it so don't, don't boil it and shove it up there Jesus boil it to wash it and then let it cool and then put it up there and then as you're using it throughout the week you just rinse it with water it says do not use soap or anything on the cup so um that's interesting because the first day i got it i just i'm not the type of person who reads instructions and i went straight in there with the soap so don't do that if you don't read instructions and you're just watching this video then don't do that boil it let it cool then put it up so yeah, that was something that I didn't do. But anyway, we've had no problems. I haven't had a rash or anything as of yet. So hopefully it's hopefully it's all good. Guys, ignore the sight of me. I'm having an admin morning and I decided to puff for eyes while the admin morning's commencing. You know, killing two birds with one stone. Because I woke up this morning and I had really puffy eyes and it's not like me. But just update you. Shirley is up there. We've given her a name. I feel like me and her are bonding. And I feel like if something's going up there every day, that's kind of a bond. And she needed a name. Don't know why I've called her Shirley. Because the only person I know called Shirley is Shirley from EastEnders. And I don't want Shirley up there. Like, I'm not really sure why. But Shirley just come to my mind. And now my cup is called Shirley. So... Hi Shirley, how are you doing hon? Anyway, Shirley is up and I have not really found much of a problem getting it up. Even the first day I didn't find it too much of an issue getting it up there. It's more so getting it down that I have the problem with. But me and Shirley, we're bonding in the mornings. She can get up there quite easily. So we're off to a good start. <sighs> okay, so it did take long again. Um... The problem is, is I'm, I'm, I'm getting annoyed and anxious when I can't feel the thing for a while and it does go quite far up. That's what gets us really anxious and I feel like because it's quite far up, I can't grip it, get a good grip of it to bring it down so it takes us a while to be able to get it. It's like one of them things where like you grab a hold of it and it like slips quite a bit anyway. Enough rambling, it's out. It took about 25 minutes again a day which is kind of annoying um and i did find that i was getting pains down there today like not not severe pains but i was getting like a bit of a pelvic pain don't know if it's the cup could be unrelated but i'd never had this pain before so i just thought i would tell you about the pain and also i hate the i hate the process of having to clean it out i know that's such a first world problem but it just gruesomes us out i'm not the type of person who likes blood like even when i cut my finger and I say blood in it, it makes us feel sick. So when I take mine out, I try to pour most of it down the toilet. And then I give it a wash with water, um, hot water. So, hi guys, I've just been potting around the day as usual. I'm in the middle of doing the clean for the house. And I was like, oh, I haven't even updated the vlog for today. So, the menstrual cup was in this morning. But I only had it in two hours and I took it out. I don't know why, but I wasn't bleeding as heavy today. And I could, like, I couldn't feel it in there, but I was just getting worried that I wouldn't bleed enough and it wouldn't, like, have enough blood in it by the end of the day that it would be really hard to get out. And I started to overthink it and I started to panic, so I decided to take it out early. Um, and I did use tweezers to get it out because, because I had no blood in it, or hardly none, I found it really hard to get out. Anyway, I managed to get it out, long story short, it is out and I have got a tampon in. I just wanted to tell you that, um... Yeah, I'm not currently using it. I've got a tampon in and I'm going to keep a tampon in for the rest of the day. I'm just not feeling it today and I just wanted a tampon. So, yeah, got a tampon. I'll resume back tomorrow when I have the cup back in. 
and I will give you an update. Sorry to disappoint, but I mean, it is something going up my vagina. So, you know, I've got to feel comfortable and I have cramps today and I just wasn't feeling the whole cup thing. I'll be back tomorrow. Well, I have just got a record breaking time of getting it out. It took 16 minutes. Now that for me is record breaking because this week it's been 20 minutes and over to get it out. 16 minutes. I'll be Guinness world record at getting these out soon. Anyway, my week's concluded. I did wear it today. I wore it for half a day yesterday and my period's really drying up so I've only got a panty liner on at the minute and I'm probably just going to wear panty liners tomorrow as well because you know when you're just getting the drips and drabs. We're at the drips and drabs stage but I wanted to quickly come on and conclude how I feel about the full silicone cup experience. Um, not gonna lie, not as bad as I thought. I feel like every time I pick the camera up, something traumatic was happening because that's the type of person I am. Like, I'm like, oh my God, my life's falling apart. Um, so yeah, that's the type of person I am. So I feel like this video could be seen from a negative aspect, but I wanna just sit down and quickly conclude because that's definitely not how I've seen this week at all. So, at, in the beginning, I'm not going to lie, the first day I really didn't enjoy using the cup at all. I thought it was disgusting, I thought it was really hard to get out and I just really didn't enjoy the experience. The second day I did find it a lot easier to get in and out um, and I was just leaving the cup in all day. Much to my disgust thoughts at the beginning, I thought, Jesus, I'm never going to just leave it in all day. I'm going to change it a few times a day like I would do a tampon. I really didn't um, because I knew that it was safe to be up there and because I knew that it was just collecting its blood, doing its thing. I didn't feel the need to take it out. So so I just didn't um, and I didn't have any problems or any more problems getting it out so my main cons is I really don't like the washing up process of it I don't like pulling it out and I always had this like subconscious thought that it was gonna like pull out and it was gonna like fall and then I would just have blood everywhere but luckily that actually didn't happen it was I think it was more of just a subconscious thought of what I feel could happen um but it didn't actually happen every time I got it out I managed to empty it into the toilet and then um wash it up into the sink now Honestly, the full process of washing it up and that isn't pleasant, especially if you don't like blood. I really don't like blood, so it wasn't really the most pleasant experience for us. But overall, I didn't find it was that bad. Like, I feel like the first few days I was quite dramatic about it and I was like, oh, I hate this. Like, this is horrible. I, mean, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. But once I kind of got used to it, I didn't find it that bad. It didn't um, lessen my cramps anymore. I still did get cramps while I was using the cup. So unless the more I use it, the less that I would get cramps. But for me, that fact just didn't ring true. I still did get cramps. Obviously, I didn't have to buy any tampons this week. I did have some from like my last period, which I did use yesterday. So I didn't have to buy any tampons. So it did save us money in that aspect. Obviously, overall, it's definitely something that I will use. It's not something that I'm going to rule out completely and be like, no, never use them. Them. I will definitely use them however I don't know if it will be every single month every single day I'm on my period because I did feel like yesterday that I just wanted a break from it and I don't know what it is that I wanted to break from like I can't quite grasp what it was was it the process of putting it up and taking it out or was it the process of just like having a cup up there like I'm not really sure how but I just felt like yesterday I really didn't want to wear it so I did use a tampon so it is something that I would use um, and I definitely hope that one point I get to a stage where I use it and it replaces my tampons but I think just after this first week I definitely don't feel like I could never buy a tampon again because I do feel like I still need tampons and pads there as security in case I'm just not feeling the cup. But you know, overall, Shirley didn't serve as that bad and I feel like me and Shirley could have a long lasting relationship, couldn't we Shirls? This was my video where I tested a menstrual cup. I really hope you enjoyed. If you would like us to do any more week challenges, let us know in the comments below what week challenges you would like us to do or month challenges or 24 hour challenges because we know we love them as well. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Let us know your experience with menstrual cups below. I would love to hear them and I'll see you again for another one. Bye! Uh, just realised. Good job, she's clean. Good job, Shirley was clean for that shot. Bye.